man, isn't that just beautiful? I mean, come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right, that's not what we're here today, guys. Well, we finally got our hands on it. This video is being sponsored by Olsa Tools. OlsaTools.com, guys, check them out. Great tools for a reasonable price uh, from a offshore manufacturer. But here recently, they've started to um, uh, provide us with some USA-made tools. They've done some partnerships along the way with some cool companies like Wildy and others that are producing tools right here in the great old USA of America, uh, 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 the great USA. And so with that, they've now introduced their line of USA-made ratchets. So um, I got with Ulsa Tools. They says, hey, we want to send you one. I says, awesome, because like, after all, I, do, I am the self-proclaimed ratchet god, right? So they sent me this new USA-made ultra thin head 180 degree flex 92 sealed head ratchet guys it's 3 8 drive it's 12 inches long it is in fact made in the usa uh part number 1313 chrome uh 12 inches what else can we say let's take a look at it so here it is uh it's got the name on there the number one thing the first thing that i noticed that i was like man what did you guys do that for they don't have usa made anywhere on it so they don't have usa made on the shaft or the handle, they don't have USA made on the head, they don't have USA made on the cover plate, they don't have it on the screws, they don't have it on the anvil, they don't have it anywhere. So also tools, guys, you gotta put USA made on your tools. If you're gonna uh, advertise and market a tool as being USA made, it's gotta, in fact, say that. I don't even know legally if you can even say that something's made here without having it stamped as such. So I don't know, somebody tell me that in the comment section if that's in fact the case. Chrome, 12 inches, very low profile, um, selector there so you can you know reverse uh, forward etc uh, set screw there so you can adjust the, the ratchet over time as it st starts to wear or becomes loose two uh, screws in the back plate similar to what you would find with snap-on this is a 3 8 drive version like we said before uh, and I noticed that the distance from the center of the screw to the center of the anvil is about the same on both the snap-on and the Ulsa tools and what does that mean? Well, the closer you can get to the anvil, the stronger the ratchet, further away, the weaker, because when you're under the stream torque, um, this plate does in fact move, and that is ultimately, uh, that can ultimately lead to a rounded um, gear and or pawl situation. So the closer they can bring those two together, the better. Now, I did in fact open up this ratchet uh, to look inside. I guess, you know, we probably go ahead and do that. One other thing I noticed that when I was doing so is that the screws on the back of the ratchet are not Loctited. So what I mean by that is all I did was put this bit in, like you see here, and I'm virtually, well, maybe not that one there, but I'm virtually able to use just simply my finger strength to um, unscrew the screw. And if you look at, or if you've done any service work on a snap-on ratchet, you'll know that snap-on does use a little bit of blue Loctite. So Ulsa Tools, the second observation I'm gonna make there is that you guys should incorporate a little bit of um, um, Loctite on your screws to ensure that they don't back out while in use, because that will in fact happen. Here's a look at the Paul. Uh, I, you, can, you do notice that this got that nice little recess portion there, and we'll take a look at as to why I believe they did that. So that's the gear. Here's a look inside of the ratchet itself for the first review. You can see a single paw with a push pin um, uh, um, piece there, I forgot what you call it, or detent rather. And then the detent actually sits inside of the, the, the paw or the uh, selector housing. So, and then you have that like locating tab there or a nub. And I think what that does is help to reduce the amount of movement that's gonna be um, experience while in use so they're trying to minimize any potential torquing or um, uh, misalignment of the gear set to the pole and so that should in, in, essentially it should make the ratchet a little bit stronger now they do consider this to be a sealed head ratchet if you've ever worked on any snap-on ratchets you'll know the snap-on incorporates a um, o-ring around the cover plate as well as an o-ring along the anvil um, neither of which does this ratchet have. They don't have an O-ring on the anvil portion there, and they don't have an O-ring around the cover plate. So it does beg the question, why does 
uh, also tool considers to be a sealed head when I would consider any ratchet that has a cover plate um, to be quote unquote sealed. So we'll have to see what they can do about that. So first off, you need to have an O-ring to protect the ingression of dirt and debris and contamination inside the head of the ratchet. Secondly, you need to include Loctite on the screws and third you got to put USA made on the ratchet guys come on You can't have a USA made tool that says it on the carton, but not on the actual product itself because that um, Can lead to some questions about the legitimacy of where the tool is in fact being made now If you guys recall snap-on did the same thing many years ago where they removed the USA stamp off the head of the ratchet and that caused a lot of issues. People were questioning the legitimacy of where Snap-on was having their tools manufactured. They kept it on the shaft, but they removed it off the head. Ultimately, I think because of some of the backlash that they experienced, they decided to put that back on. And now all, all uh, Snap-on ratchets do, in fact, say USA made on the shaft, but also the head as well. So um, as far as being an ultra thin, uh, they are, in fact, thinner than um, the Snap-on, the Ulsa Tools Ratchet, that um, what, what was what I'm saying. It is not, in fact, thinner than a Matco, so Matco still is holding the candle in terms of um, um, thinness, but, in fact, it is a, a little bit thinner than a Snap-on. People use Snap-on all day long, so I don't foresee this being an issue. Uh, let's see, what else. what else do they claim? They claim Ultra Thin, we talked about 180 degree flex head. So just like any flex head ratchet, it does in fact do the 180. It is nice and stiff right out of the box, which is good. It's not floppy. And, you know, you it it's not you don't hear a lot of the mechanisms like jostling around in there as well. The gear selector is nice and smooth. It is low profile. And the one thing when you look at this ratchet, what do you, what does it say? What does it scream? Well, people in the comment section told me that it screamed LP90 by SK. So we believe that this ratchet is in fact being manufactured by SK or who now whoever owns SK. We believe that to be the case because uh, it's very um, reminiscent of the LP90 series. And I even looked it up today to verify. And uh, yeah, it looks like an LP90. So uh, that's probably the case. Be pretty interesting if that is in fact correct. Maybe I'll reach out to Olsen Tools and ask them to clarify. So let's go ahead and test out I think it's got a four degree arc swing on it, uh, which is the same as the LP90. But let's go ahead and just kind of see how she does. You guys may hear my son calling me. Mm, that's pretty strong. Ah, can't break that, that screw free. Let me go ahead and reset, check on my son, and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, I'm back. I don't even know where I was at, but my son was like yelling in the door and, uh, yeah, so let's go try this again. So I was, I think I was trying to see if I can unloosen a bolt on my mower deck. But so this uh, this new ratchet, like I said, is uh, from Ulsa Tools. And uh, ah, there we go. So I can tell you that it is fairly strong because these bolts are rusted. Um, arc swing is... Yeah, it's about four or five degrees. It feels like it's more. I wish I had a meter to, or a gauge to tell, but let's see here. You can, you can hear it. So it's about four to five degrees before it, it picks up the next tooth. Um, but it feels pretty strong. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's... A lot of times I've noticed that on some of these ratchets, you can tell how well they're going to handle um, normal use after the first use because you'll feel everything kind of bind up the first time those ratchets are put to test you can kind of feel everything kind of bind up and start meshing and it, it doesn't you know work out too well these this one here seems fairly decent and everything's select the, the selector switch is operating correctly so yeah, that, that seems pretty decent. So I think at first glance, I don't find anything wrong with this uh, new USA made ratchet from Ulsa Tools. It's going to obviously take more time, more usage um, in fairly extreme and regular conditions in order to really assess uh, its total quality. But 
at first glance, like you would do with anything that you would buy, any type of tool. You look for the things that are like the telltale signs that it's not gonna work out. And from my initial uh, perception of the tool, I think it's gonna work out fairly deep, fairly well. I mean, I don't foresee anything going wrong with it. And like I said before, if it's part of the LP90 uh, group uh, and they're using utilizing the same standards and specifications to produce this ratchet for Olsa as they did for themselves, uh, if it is, is in fact uh, related to the SK line of tools, then I don't foresee that we should have any issues with this ratchet. So guys, check out olsatools.com. I'm gonna look and see if this ratchet is even is if it's even up for sale or uh, that they are now advertising it. I don't know for certain if they are, but I do know or I believe that we're the first channel to go public uh, and start sharing this new tool. So we're gonna see this tool featured in a number of videos just to kind of get you guys familiar with its use uh, and just kind of see if we can break it or if we can find any flaws in its design. But at first glance, like I said, I don't foresee us finding anything with it. I'm, I'm fairly excited about this. But like I said, also, you guys have got to do um, some changes. You got to put USA Mate somewhere on this ratchet. People are not going to like the fact that it doesn't say that. You need to incorporate Loctite. We're going to put some Loctite on these two screws in the back just to make sure things are held together nicely. Uh, and then as far as the O-ring, uh, because it, you, you do call it a sealed head design, uh, that may require a little bit of a revision. Uh, I don't know how you guys are going to incorporate that. Uh, but I would like to, in fact, see some type of an, some type of an O-ring or a gasket to ensure that uh, the ratchet does not, um, you know, if it falls in oil or brake fluid or some type of other media, that that um, does not affect the fit and performance of the of the tool itself. So uh, check it out, guys. First here, you've seen it first on uh, Midwest Two Review Channel. The new 12-inch. Um, long flat set 90 tooth ratchet from none other than also tools guys hope you like the, the video make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel if you want to see more content on this new ratchet because there will be more content coming perhaps even more than today i don't even know yet uh, but also make sure that you are following me on instagram at midwest underscore tool underscore review uh, and just yeah i'm going to be featuring this tool quite often so make sure you're following me if you want to know more uh, and make the decision whether or not you want to get one. I'm also going to look on the website to see if I can figure out what the price point is for this ratchet, but I assume it's going to be a far degree less than what you would find with Snap-on, Matco, and Mac. Uh, so let's we'll, we'll do a little bit of investigation to see what we can find out on that as well. So hope you guys liked the video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.